Ninja is a mix-up heavy rushdown character, best played as close range and having a lot of tools to force your opponent to do defensive options and then punishing them. First, I'm gonna go through each one of Ninja's moves and explain them to you. When you're at close range, one of the best moves of Ninja is Uppercut, because it beats every attack and movement, so the opponent is forced to block or roll. Don't forget to free cancel your move. If you don't know what free cancel is, you can watch my other videos on the basic mechanics. Be careful with Ninja Ditos, because Ninja is the only one that has backsway instead of block and roll. He can also backsway as a mix-up. If your opponent is scared of uppercut and you are sure he's gonna block or roll, one of the best moves is drop kick to read a block, a roll, or a grab. And if he rolls to the other side, you can flip it. Be careful with Wizard, he has confusing touch and he can flip you all your moves, but not uppercut. So sometimes what you can do with jump kick is imagine he rolls to the right, so you flip your jump kick, but if he confuses touch, you also he also flips you back. So you can read a roll to the right and confusing touch. After uppercut in close range, one of your best moves is punch. It is one of your fastest moves, and it wins against everything, but it loses against grab and block. And if the person rolls, it's so fast that you're still positive, and you can just follow up. The next fastest move after punch is kick, which also loses against grab, but if the opponent's blocked high, you hit him anyway, he has to block low to get the parry. And roll, you're negative because it has more lag. But remember you can use free cancel to not be negative. Now you have to be careful against robot because if he activates armor, he can tank through some of your hits and then he just attacks you. But it doesn't work against uppercut, so this is all something you will always have. Uppercut, punch and kick and bomb has proration. In short terms, it means that if you start a combo with one of these, your combo will do less damage. If you want a better explanation, I have a video on that. One of the best ninjas move is sweep. It does one of the most damage, 1200. It has minus one proration, meaning that if you start a combo with this move, your combo is gonna do much more damage afterwards. Normally, you want to set it up on a parry, like he attacks you, you parry, and you start the combo with a sweep, meaning your combo is going to do a lot of damage. Or you do it mid-combo, you hit him with uh, like anything, and then you do sweep, because it's like one of your most damage moves. Sweep also has an uh, infinite hit stun, so if they DI up, they will be stunned until they hit the ground. Nunchuck is one of the moves that can hit at round start. But gotta be careful, like most characters can just like walk back. It is a really like mid-range tool, it's not so fast. And if you manage to hit it, or just like uh, finish the move, you will be turned into non-chuck stance. Where you can chuck jump, chuck heavy, sweep, and whip wave. Chuck heavy is not your best combo continuation because it does low damage and a lot of it counts as 3 hits, so your combo scaling is high. It's better to go for a sweep or a chug jump. Chug jump is one of your best moves. It does 1200 damage, the same as sweep and jump kick. So the 3 moves, if you can, you should always use them in a combo. The wave has an initial startup attack, which does 800 damage. And then it throws a projectile which does 400 damage. It's not the best combo continuation, but it creates a mix-up where if they DI down, they get on the ground and you can keep whip waving. And if they DI up, you just get a combo. But it's not the best damage. Stomp is a really laggy move, but it can be used really well mid combo. Like if you see, you'll only be able to stomp, but stomp is one of the moves that's able to hit even if the opponent's on the ground. Like, he DI's a sweep down, and he's gonna hit the ground, so you can stomp him. 
sometimes people are afraid to when they are on the ground to get up because they get 50 50 so sometimes they hold and you can stomp them for free but it's a read slide kick has a startup of seven frames so it loses two quick moves but it's really good because it, it does um, you can go through projectiles like here all the other moves get hit by projectiles but slide kick is anti-projectile same as jump kick so it's more of a call out if he like in this situation a wizard is like going to fly away most of the moves like lose but slide kick will call it out against cowboy gun slide kick can evade one bullet but if he shoots two you get hit the other moves that can evade is jump kick that evades three bullets i mean two and then three he gets hit and backsway But backsway seems that you can parry, depending on when he pulls the gun. We played against Shen on tournament and he pulled his gun too close to me. So even if he shoots me here, I can slide kick and punish him, even if he shoots more bullets, even if he holsters. If I jump kick, it evades also the bullet, but he can holster. So what he did is he tried to read my slide kick by blocking. He tried to parry, but what I did is just hold here and get the block and then sweep for the minus one paration. Jump kick is one of your best moves. It does a lot of damage, 1200, but it's not a combo starter. Normally you set it up like with another move and then you jump kick. In the corner, it wall splashes, so then you have a lot of time to set up something and keep up the combo. And if you're not close to the wall, you can use jump kick into a hook, which can make your combo really easy to continue. As we saw before, grappling hook is really good with jump kick and then grappling hook into a combo, but grappling hook can also be attached to the ground, so you can pull yourself together and have like a really quick approach. And the other thing you can do with grappling hook is attach it to projectiles. Like you throw a shuriken and then you can grappling hook into it. And it starts moving with the shuriken. So you can pull yourself together to it. It will also work if you do it like uh, in the air, a shuriken. Here you can see that you can grappling hook into the shuriken that's flying. And then you can just hook into it. Remember that you can always choose to pull or not yourself into grappling hook. And if you did like a back grappling hook, you can always just deattach it. You can also substitute to your grappling hook. So sometimes it's uh, better to move it and not attach it to the person. And then substitute to it to keep the combo going. Shuriken is a really good projectile and you can like change the speed of the shuriken. You can also flip it sometimes to like uh, catch cowboys impale and you can substitute into it which uh, makes the shuriken like uh, sometimes cowboy just blocks it and you can substitute into it making the shuriken be it's active again so he has to like block it again and he's uh, like it's really good pressure. The other thing you can do is <clears throat> just uh, use it in the air. It makes you like stop your momentum a little bit. So sometimes you're falling and you can throw a shuriken to stop your momentum. Summon is one of the best tools you can use like to break neutral. It can frame kill gun. So if you use summon at the same time, even if he shoots you, it's a perfect parry every time. And you can also aim it up like if your opponent's in the air. Yeah, diagonal, down. It converts into a kick. And all of these you can substitute. This one you can substitute into the clone. But when it throws the kunais, you substitute into the kunais. And with the other clone, if you clone down, you just substitute into this clone. Bomb is a really good combo finisher. Or setup tool when your opponent is gonna hit the ground. One well, easy way for me to set it up is to send your opponent up uh, with not chuck up or stomp and then jump and chuck spin and if your opponent the ice up you can set up a bomb this way because bomb goes up and in the direction you do it you have to go a little bit away and down and then you get it normally what people do here 
is if they can dive kick. And after it becomes a mix up when you're gonna detonate. With the new changes on bomb or patch 1.4, you don't get the insta detonate. Now they can have like movement. So bomb is really good to use when you think your opponent is gonna attack. Meaning that uh, your opponent, when ha if he has a bomb on, normally will do only movements and play a little bit passive. Another setup to get the bomb is if the combo is pretty low and you get a stomp and the ADI up, you can super jump. And you have to do it to the left, because the bomb goes up and to the right. And this works also with jump kick. This bomb is not the most optimal because it's like early on the combo, but it's possible. Normally do like a sweep, and then cancel it into a school shaker. And the interesting thing why school shaker is so good is if they are DIing up, they don't go up. They can just go forward and backwards. So sometimes... Uh, you do a sweep and they go like over here and you threaten a stomp so they DI up but you do a skull shaker and they stay in place. Skull shaker is also really good against robot because it counts as a grab so if you do a 50-50 with skull shaker now he cannot armor and attack because he gets skull shaker with every move so it becomes a 50-50. Black sway is a really good defensive move to call out like, uh, it dodges a lot of things, but not everything. Backsway wins against grab and block, but be careful. If you don't free cancel your palm strike, robot can whiff cancel, and then armor your attack and punish yours. In Ninja Ditos, Backsway is really good because it wins against uppercut and almost every move but normally how people call it out is with a drop kick because it also reads a uh, block and grab so careful if you backsway too much opponents will read it and punish it once you finish a backsway you enter backsway stance and here you get the palm strike which is a really fast move it's three frames and it does 2000 damage but it, it's a like it finished the combo normally you both get it to neutral after you do it. With palm strike, if you have call drops on the ground, you can do the palm strike into the call drops and then you can continue the combo. Store momentum is a really good move to stop your momentum. If you're going like a super jump and you're going super fast, you can store momentum and stop all your momentum, you just stay still. And when you use store momentum, you get release momentum, which releases the momentum that you stored. I did the super jump and it stored it, so now I can release it and I do like the same one I, I stored. But release momentum is one of your supers, so remember it consumes one of your levels. A new thing that was added to the game with Ninja, after a chuck heavy, if you not chuck, you get a laser. This is a new Ninja move. It is unparable. And you can name it up also. When you're combing in the air, you get punch, chuck spin, dive kick, and kick. Punch is probably the worst uh, move. It is very situational when your opponent is dying down, and it's like a, more of a DI mix up, but it's the worst move for damage. Plus, chuck spin is really good, and you can set it up into a bomb if they DI up. If they DI you down, you can follow up with a dash afterwards. Kick is really good as a mix-up when you're chuck spinning and they DI up. Then if you kick and they DI up, you can get a re-stance. You can go on the ground and then keep the combo. It's really good when you're out of air options in the air and you do this mix-up to go to the ground and get your air options back. Dive kick is a decent combo tool, but the problem is it's not as good as damage as chuck spin and kick. And it also puts you in only specials, so you cannot keep the combo with the uh, normal attacks. So normally it makes you like use an insta cancel to continue the combo. Ninja has three supers. Quick Slash, Call Drops and Release Momentum. Quick Slash is a really good tool, it costs one bar and on neutral it does a thousand damage. So it's good to start combos, but if you use it in a combo it does less damage. And if you use it in the air you can move like 
more downwards also. If you use quick slash and neutral, you're normally plus three, which are, if you're next to your opponent, can only give you a grab. This is always free if you're close to him. And the other thing you can do is just 50-50s. Uh, if you quick slash your opponent in the air, you, you get a lot more frames. The best way to combo here is uh, even if they die down, get another quick slash, and then with an insta cancel. Another good tool for quick slash is if you just want to get out of uh, the situation, just free cancel it. And most characters cannot do much about this. But remember to free cancel it because if you don't, you're minus a lot. Cal drops as a super is really laggy. So normally you don't use it in neutral. What you do normally is use it on a combo. Or when your opponent is on the ground. You just call drops. Once your call drops are down, if your opponent hits the call drops, there will be an old of headstone. And the most common way to combo this is with palm strike. Let's say you get a kick, and then you can back sway and drop palm strike. And continue the combo. And the last thing you can do with call drops is substitute into them. Grab is a really good move. Once almost against everything versus cowboy, all the attacks. If they can't free combo. If they grab at the same time, resets to neutral, loses against dash, wins against block, and loses against spot dodge versus cowboy. If you get a grab in neutral, like say he attacks, if he EDIs like up or anything, normally you can get a combo for free. But good players will start DIing down. Even if they eye down, you get a stomp. But then players will start DIing down and away. And then the stomp doesn't work anymore, and you don't get a combo. Now, if you approach with momentum, and you get a grab, your character moves forward. So even if they DI down and away, you will get the stomp. Because of the momentum moves you forward, being able to do the stomp. One thing, be careful, every character can jump grab. Versus wizard, you gotta be careful, because if you grab, they have confusing touch. Then wizard is a little bit positive. Versus robot, you gotta be careful with bound check, the beats grab, and thunderclap. And versus ninja, you gotta be careful of uppercut, drop kick, and back so if you're gonna grab. And lastly, hustle, which puts you in nunchuck stance. And if you finish the hustle, you get one bar. Thank you for watching. This video took a really long time to make, so if you enjoy this content, please subscribe. I'll be probably doing another part on starting moves against each character and some basic combos. That's it. Thank you. I'm not sure if I missed any move. Please comment if I did.